Okay, and we're back. Yep, and minus one go. Minus one, Jess. Since you left us, you're not here. It means you are already drunk. Nope. <laughs> right, so we are back, and we are on our six. Six times. I really don't know how many. I don't remember, I don't remember anymore. Remember. But and definitely we're one woman down. If you've noticed, we were three and now down to two. And we have three more bottles in front of us. <laughs> we have three bottles, but I think the, these three bottles are really, really, really cool bottles to review because they are um, they are gin made out of grapes. grapes. Can you imagine gin ah. from grapes? Usually grapes is just, you know, it's used grain. for brandy or cognac or wine, right? But I'm sure they've seen this and people are not even aware because right. I've seen it so many times. So I'm so excited. Way. So let's go. Let's go for it. Okay. So the first one, this is this the is first ever G What does G mean? What does G stand for? Oh. What? What? No, nothing. Grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Grapes, good, great. G grapes. G, I don't want to say Spin anything. off and saying divine. But this is the first G ever wine. grape gin. That's very interesting. Or nose. So this one is very interesting because the flavors you when you taste this compared to grain. They have, it has a more fresher, fruitier uh, flavor. Actually, very interesting. The grapes, you can really smell it. Parang may pasas. Alam mo din yung pasas? Pasas is racist. Parang medyo may pagkalikuris pa nga to na may fresh grapes. Yeah. This particular uh, vine, grape vine flower only comes out uh, in June every year. So I think there's only like a 10 day period where you can find it. So it's quite rare. Parang June bright. Special, June very flower. special. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's a very interesting flavor. Huh? Yeah. Parang so. you, you feel the grape and yet it's very floral in a way. I feel like it's blooming inside of my mouth. fresh. Blooming. Oh, <laughs> so, how do you say it? Sar? Sar? Ferdinand Sar. Sar. Dry gin. Dry gin. So this one, it's handcrafted regional vineyard botanicals. La, 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 la. And it uses a different type Riesling. of uh, grape, which is Riesling. Riesling. I like the bottle. It's kind of like, it's one of those drinks that you just lose. It was actually hard. Oh, wow. What is it? I feel that, I don't know. It, I feel like there's ice in it. Fresh. Yeah, but it's, it's different Is from it the minty? freshest of minty. Minty. Oh, I can smell it. Yeah, it's minty. Oh. It's like, it actually smells cold. Yeah, from, from, yeah. From the nose, it already smells yeah. cold, minty. This one is like the flavors, the notes, the complexity of the of, of this gin. Oh. It's like there's so much going yeah. on. But I like it. I think this is very interesting for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't I like have it. It's very playful. I would say that this gin is yeah. very, very... Playful. Interesting. It's nothing that I've ever tried, uh, you know, before. It's surprising. It's very, very surprising, right? Surprising uh, gin. Mm -hmm. We were fighting about it earlier. How to properly say it? They say in English, they say it as nerds. Like a, like but you nerds. should never, but you should never <laughs> pronounce this in English because this is not from England exactly. or America. Mm -hmm. It is a Spanish brand. So how so do you say it? We have to say it by saying no this. No this. It's like saying look this. No this. And yeah. in uh -huh. on it. You say look this. No this. I see. What kind of grape is used for to make this? So uh, the name of the grape variety that was used with this is called. Uh, uh, letter A. Uh, Almarino. 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 Ah, wrong. What is it? Almarino. 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 Okay. Let's taste it. Smell it first. Taste yeah. it and then you smell it. Of course, you smell it first. Okay. And that's interesting. I can't quite explain it. I, I felt like I, I smelled feel, a cologne. This feels, this smells like it feels like someone just is passed me. I don't know. Like, does this, does, is this the smell of the uh, Atlantic? Maybe. Are we there? Oh, breeze. I have a feeling I'm going to go to the car. It's like a car freshener. It's like an ocean breeze. No, but in a good way. Really, really good. Like super fresh. I can I can smell like... What's this? So? I can't quite explain it. Parang there's some menthol candy inside of it. Again, just like it's the other one, it smells I cold. Cannot, I cannot it smells like the air of the Atlantic. Yeah. Okay. In Atlantic. In Atlantic. In Atlantic. You should try it. Not yet. Ah. It has. Oh, 
has that very perfumey note. Mm, I see. I cannot pinpoint what that taste is. It's wow. Very distinct. It's very spicy. And distinct, but cool. Cool. Wow. <laughs> verbena. It's got the verbena. Have you tasted verbena? Verbena. Verbena in what is that? Ano? Um, wow. I, it's so fresh. It's coming out of my my <laughs> eyes. What's going on with me? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> First time to. <laughs> it's so interesting. <laughs> hey guys, like no seriously, my eyes are kind of like there's like heat shh. and cold coming out. Parang commercial na mentos. Talagang yung bayan or shh shh. <laughs> <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> okay, it says fresh northerly wind. Really? Like the northerly wind. Oh, northern okay. That's coming what inside north my mouth, going down my throat, and it's exiting through my eyes. I see. That's what Norvest means. What? It, it is through your eyes? Uh, no, it means the fresh northerly wind. Ah, that's why it kind of like tastes like, it like it. Like it, 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 it smells and tastes like it. Oh, that's interesting. I still feel like my chest, my throat is kind of expanding. But this is my favorite tonight so really? far. Really? No, because it's well, not it gave me of. a different kind of experience. You know how it is. What I like with experience is you you get into a different um, dimension. I felt like my, my, my memory. I felt like the northerly winds were coming out of my exactly. eyes. You see? I mean, we didn't feel that with any other gins, right? So that's it, guys. This is a must try because it's gonna give you a different sensorial experience. Yeah. We're gonna be reviewing some Colombian uh, aged gin. So what is Colombian? This is actually we're talking about the type of gin that is aged. You know, it's actually a, like a soft category, but you cannot not talk about it because it, the taste is very distinct. Yeah, these are the, yeah, I mean, it's nor normally like gin doesn't really, they don't they age don't it. Age it. Yeah. They don't put it in barrels. Our but researchers, yeah, our researchers actually uh, looked it up and it says during the history that, you know, our, our Navy were actually going through and forth with the spices, with the gin, they usually put it in gin barrels because that time they don't put it in the bottles. They put it in the, the barrel to actually transport it, hence it gets aged without them really, you know, supposedly na aged. So that's that's the what they say about the history. So Colombian is actually coming from the Dictador Distillery, which is a Dictador Distillery is a rum distillery. Yes. Originally a rum distillery. So if you know the Dictador rums. So it's very interesting because they put it inside our rum. A rum cask. La la la. So this, so, so this particular uh, aged gin is five times this hill. Five times. Mm -hmm. Nalasa pa kaya yun? Go ahead, go ahead. Colombiana. Colombian, Miss Colombia. <laughs> it's very fruity. Fruity. I would say definitely fruity. A lot yeah. of like, a lot of like citrus peels. I like, I like the the, the sound of a bottle when you open it. It's like. Mystery inside. And surprises. Well, it gives it's it a cooling also. Does it have molasses smell in it or notes? Because molasses is in the rum. I don't have the molasses notes to it, but definitely the tropical fruit flavors have. Like, like oranges, tangerines. Very interesting um, packaging as well. What do you think to it? Ah, uh, okay. It feels kind of round. You know how when you're tasting rum, it coats your, your mouth from to bottom, like, I don't know. But then it has that s s kind of like strong astringent sort of like yeah. astringent. gin. Uh, Can you explain to them what is astringent? Astringent. Astringent. You have you guys tried a string of salt? It's kind of like that. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> no, but, like, but in a good, it's not. It's not in a bad way. But mm. like it has that like cleansing feeling. But I, I, I don't quite taste the age and the oak. I don't taste it. You Is it because it's five enough. times the steel? Maybe. Let's try this one because it's look. It looks dark. Maybe. And they, it has a color as well. I know. This it's one very interesting. Look colorless. So if you look at this one, you compare the. Ox, 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 how do you say it? Ox to do Again, ox, it is called the orthodoxy. Orthodoxy, and this one is treasure. If you look at it, it looks a bit yellowish compared to the other one. So 
So it probably has more aging in its process or maybe... So, okay, the one unique uh, factor about uh, the treasure is they use what is called the limondrino. What is a lemon? A lemon green is a lemon hybrid mandarin. Wow, cool. I haven't seen one. And it's probably costing it to be this color because it says here it's five times distilled, and both bottles are actually 35 weeks aged in barrels. So the only difference is this one has ginger hints, peppery, and the tangerine from the lemon So let's taste it. It almost tastes like an aged limoncello. Really? Yeah. How's the smell? It has the spicy oakiness from the wood. And so definitely and like a light, sweet note, like citrusy note to it that basically comes from the mandarin. Probably. Not from lemon the lemon. Also. The lemon definitely is there as well because it has a citrusy mm -hmm. nose. For me, but, but aged limoncello. But this is like a more softer kind of like. But interesting. Oh. I mean, Interesting. The mouth feel. Mm -hmm. It's thicker actually than this one. This one is a skinnier. It's more. Feel this is this more. It's, this is rounder. Mm -hmm. This is rounder. A bit more robust. A bit more peppery. But then it's really nice and smooth around the edges. So I, don't I think actually. It's, where, which it's which one do you prefer? I like this one. I like this one better than this. This is quite new. It's called the Navy Strength Gin. It's, I'm a little strength. bit afraid. Yeah. So, what is Navy Strength? Actually, it's 57 point something and above. It makes it Navy Strength already. We read about it and it says that during the time that, you know... ABV, you mean ABV? Yes, it, for, yeah, by volume. So, this one I'll is 57.27% above. Yes, and above. It makes it Navy Strength. It's just like saying high proof. It's a one by one Bacardi, as I prefer. You know, these you know? these things are so high in alcohol that you can just use it to burn things. Yep. Actually, <laughs> speaking of burning, during the time that people were actually traveling and, um, uh, you know, during the time that they're trading gin, uh, they were actually, the, the, the importance of the Navy is really, you know, we were reading about it earlier in the Navy. Yep, in the Navy. So they're really uh, an important factor in actually distributing gin around the globe. The spices, the barrel age, la 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 la. And during that time, they feel like some of the probably the sailors or some of the people who were selling the gins were diluting it with water. Because you wouldn't know. When it gets to you, you wouldn't know. It tastes the same, but it's actually kind of diluted. So what they do is they test it. They put the... The, the gin and gunpowder in a contraption and they light it up. So it's the fire uh, testing. So if you want to blow yourself up, definitely <laughs> Navy, 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 strength. Navy Strength Gin is the way to go. So they're saying if it lights up, then it's good gin because it's high proof, good strength. <laughs> so with us and we have here Four Pillars Gin. This is actually distributed by Apotheca Craft Spirits here in Manila. And this one is 58.8. That's high. The other one is? The other one is 57.2. Edinburgh. Edinburgh Gin. Gin. It's called... Na 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 cannonball. <laughs> I need a cannonball. It's cannonball. You started. Okay, so this is the 57.2 version. It says here wow. that traditional for enable gin. Woo. You know, I'm just smelling this Rrr! thing and it's like going oh my God, up my nostril like this. It says here, Zechuan pepper. Szechuan. 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 Okay, so it's got the Szechuan. Szechuan. Hi, that's a fun. Szechuan or Szechuan? Szechuan. Szechuan pepper. Lemon zest. And... Okay, that's it. Let me try it. Szechuan, because not... All of those bottles have that. Yeah, it's kind of like scary because it's like, do I if I drink this, will I be propelled like a cannonball? Hmm? Boom! Woo! Oh, oh, there, there we go, that's it! Whoa, oh, wow! I was talking didn't... about astringent earlier, <laughs> but this one is totally like on fire. My mouth is on fire. Can we change it to wrecking so ball? Hot. Can I have an extinguisher, please? <laughs> oh. Ooh! <laughs> it makes you give an evil laugh. You know, I actually forgot. To, I actually forgot to like 
describe the way it tastes. It's just so hot, <laughs> spicy. Like, if I had like a cartoon thing on my face, it would be like oh my fire, God. fire. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I'm feeling my leaf. I can't think <laughs> right now. I feel like my brain is being fried. Okay, moving on. Wow. 58.8. Gin. Woo! Grab it! Grab it! I really actually want to try this with a lighter, but we cannot. We're in a hotel. It might explode. So. <sighs> Ooh. Wow! Woo! <laughs> I think this is really useful. Woo! <laughs> what? It's even worse? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Smelling like this one and this one more especially, you really fit, you really smell the freshness of citrus. That's very citrusy. That's like the it's like the first and only thing. Spice and citrus. Wow. I feel you like I'm growing chest hair. Chest hair. <laughs> like, heat is like right here. The heat like right here it goes on. down and then it just feels like if I was like stuck somewhere really really cold that totally like that. Ready? I'm not sure. <laughs> we have to be ready. These okay. are like what? What are you talking about? Uh, flavored gins. Flavored gins. So flavored gin actually, when you distill it, they actually add some added flavors after distillation. So this this is called Serena and this distillery. Serena. Serena, sorry. Um, Serena. Medio English. Serena pala. Serene. Serena, Serena, which is like a mermaid. A, Serena, a mermaid right here. It's at the back of the bottle. Um, it's made in Aklan. Aklan? Yeah. Okay. And I, I've seen some pictures of its uh, distillery and it looks gorgeous. Mm, okay. So, you know, I can't wait to uh, try this this gin. Look at it. It's, it's blue. blue. It's because of the special blue pea flower. It's flavored by blue peas. What's amazing with, with that uh, flower is when you use it to steep it with your tea, when you put lemon, it becomes violet. So I think that it's gonna be really interesting with this one. Tonic. When we try it with tonic, it's probably gonna change color. So it's gonna be a fun drink. So shall we try, try it? it? Oh. It has an earthy again. smell to it. It's kind of like this heavy, kind of like. It's from Distilleria Baraco Corporation. It has a uh, citrusy earthy smell to it. I wonder if it will taste good with ice oyster because aklan oysters do not. Earthy, yeah. It's a bit earthy. Is it is it a bit cloudy to you? Yeah. I I don't know if it's because of the color blue, but it's not clear. So the next one we're gonna try is called Whitley, Whitley Neal. Handcrafted dry gin. And it's got rhubarb and ginger. Oh rhubarb. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. 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 People don't usually know what rhubarb is because we really can't find it in the Well, we don't have rhubarb in the no, place. Exactly. It's very difficult to find. It kind of looks like... Uh, uh, what is this? Any letter K? Na, we always eat it. Kanko. No, kale. Kale. <laughs> it looks... Kale. Golag style. Pinoy. Kanko. It kind of, the leaves kind of look like kale. And then it's got a purple stem, but you do not eat the part that has the leaves because apparently it's poisonous. You eat the root. You eat the no, no. You eat the stem, the stem. of the root. So the stem of the root, they actually call it a fruit, but it's like a vegetable. Rhubarb. It's so, so it's so English. English. It smells. It smells. It smells very flower, sweet. Fruity. It smells the. It smells of rhubarb. This one. I don't know what the rhubarb. That is a smell of rhubarb. Rhubarb, they recently did the pie, but. It smells like a berry. Oh, wow, I see. It tastes like berry. Yeah. Rhubarb tastes like berries. Really? But it's a vegetable. Well, it tastes like berries. It's very strange, but it's so good. It tastes like blueberries. Ooh. Right? I like sweet. it. It's it sweet. Like like, it tastes like there's grapes and berries in it. Right? Very nice. I, don't I like the mouthfeel. and a blueberry. Yeah, it covers it covers your, your your tongue very well. It's nice and gentle on the tongue. 
Wow, that's it, interesting. I the like color that. And then will it's tell spicy you what as well. it tastes like. Yeah. And it's spicy as well. Oh my god, that's interesting. So we've been noticing Sweet a lot and of spicy. Rhubarb and thing. ginger. I like this one. Mm -hmm. Pink gin. We actually went to the master class of bitter truth. Bitter truth actually manufactures bitters. bitters. So there probably has bitters in it and it's pink. Pink gin, sabi nila, for 2018, it's one of the trends. Pink gin, because the millennials. Yeah, because it's highly Instagrammable. It's bitter. the bitter that's yep. the color. That gives bitter. the color. Because they manufacture bitters. If we're not correct, correct us, let us know. But that's what we read so far. So, um, it's got aromatic bitters in it. It smells very aromatic. It obviously. says it cures seasickness. Really? So I guess when we go and when we go ride the bangka, mm -hmm. we can definitely drink that. Bonamin so in the running. <laughs> better than bonamin. Maybe, I don't know. Jesus always better as a cure. Taste so, it. Taste it now. So it is a bit pink. I can still smell the aromatic uh, bitter in it. Pink is my favorite color. <laughs> you feel like Aerosmith? It's like gin with bitters. It's a cocktail. That's actually what people say when you read it online. It's like it's a cocktail already. Mm -hmm. It's a cocktail ready to go. Mm -hmm. A gin cocktail ready mm -hmm. to go. Next, Billiers. How do you say it? Is Simon it from Apotheki, if you're listening, am I saying it wrong? Where is this from? Oh, from Belgium. Belgian. I don't know how do you pronounce this? Pilier? Pilier, Piliers. Belgian usually says uh, speaks uh, French. It says tangerine. I will never guess what's in it. Tangerine flavored gin. I love the sound of that. This one is pine blossom. It's a car fresh. Right. Before we get there though, <laughs> okay, I think let's try this. Okay. Cheers, Icy. We've been drinking so Both? much. Both? Right away. Mm -hmm. And then. I mean Baguio. Pine. It kind of gives me this light pine. Yeah. It has that. It's not the tangerine, not tangerine fruit, but I think it's like a tangerine skin. It's like the tangerine mm. peel more like it. So it's a bit bitter. It smells good. Yeah. Mmm, okay. I need to drink a bit of water. It's too much citrus going in my, my nose. <laughs> It smells like a car fresh. Because of the tangerines. Tangerini! Not my cup of tea. I prefer the the tangerine, but then this has a. Uh, it's like. It's like fresh pine needles. Tastes like fresh pine needles. Tastes like Baguio, guys. Have you ever been to Baguio? It tastes like Baguio. I think you add a little more, a bit more ice in it. You're set. It's summer. You think it would be best to drink this for now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, there, but I can think of a, a lot of cocktails that you can really use these two. The last one. Apparently, they say this. Oh, God. I smell the elderflower. I love elderflower and you cure. Elderflower is always a sure shot that's going to be good. So. Hopefully. Okay, crafted and copper pot steel, elderflower gin, soft scents of juniper, coriander, cinnamon, sweet and velvety, so it's probably thicker than the, everything that we've tasted. Fresh floral bouquet. Again, guys, if you want to be in your good graces with your girlfriends or boyfriends, don't give them flowers. Give them Ooh. a gin because it's like a bouquet. It's interesting, but for me, I would rather have a plain gin with maybe elderflower syrup like Chaque Saint Germain mm -hmm. because it's a little bit um, too much of the elderflower. Ooh, wow! Um, I don't know, it tastes too much like a liqueur for me more than a gin. It the, 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 the elderflower, it's too much, right? It's overpowering. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't taste like fresh elderflower. It's a bit uh, uh, too syrupy, like it's uh, a chemical. Yeah. So it's like a natural elderflower. Interesting, but it's very good and I can really I think you can use this with cocktails. Definitely. All these mix all these all these uh, gin 
uh, gin fla uh, what is it? flavored gins are definitely good with cocktails. But for very, me, could be very good for uh, making cocktails. If I'm going to a gin buffet, I think I'm going to choose other yeah. gins because. I don't know, yeah. the flavor is too much, but for a cocktail, it's probably gonna yeah. shine. Maybe if you're doing like a shortcut and you're kind of lazy, you can choose your flavor gin. But yeah. this one, this oh, one this one's interesting. is really good. This one the is bar. a nice tonic with a lot of ice and just oh. like a fresh like lemon peel mm -hmm. is gold. Interesting. But the rest, you know, it's a little bit of work to do. I put chocolate in my gelato and drink that. Okay. <laughs> like, gelato talaga. Gelato talaga. Lime. Lime gelato. Lime. Or a limoncello gelato. Okay, yeah. makes sense. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, okay. I mean, a lemon sorbet or something. Yeah, that would be really good. Oh my god. I we see. made it, Tato. Oh, we are alive. We're still alive. After like, how many? Days? More than 27. More than 27. I thought it was just going to be 27, but we had a couple more. And then who came in last minute insertion. And Jess is gone and she's not here. That means she's, she did it. Jess. Jess may not be here now, but in, we're definitely going to get her the next Here in spirit. <laughs> okay, so guys, nice. we're a bit teething right now. We're good. So it's good to eat. <laughs> it's good to drink a lot of water. That's the reason why we survived. Thank mm -hmm. you again to Discovery Permea for hosting us. Most especially the Galarmi Galarmi guys. The, all the gins that we've tasted tonight is going to is available. However, the purple one is going to be available in Galarmi gin at Galarmi from four to nine p.m. Four hundred fifty pesos. You can start at four hundred fifty yeah. pesos. You get to try all the regular ones. All the regular ones, and then if you beef up your uh, your payment to a thousand two hundred, then you can try one three oh, one, one three, sorry one thousand three hundred. Try all of it. With all the best tonics all as well. All the craft ones. So and that's speaking of tonic. 44. But speaking of tonic though. Mm, tonic, yeah. gin buffet, gin, gin tonic. Buffet. If you want to look at recipes for gin, you go to drinkmanila.com, look at recipes, find all the gin recipes there. Follow us on Instagram at drinkmanila. At drinkmanilano.com. At drinkmanila on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. See you guys. Follow us. If you have questions, like us. Please, if you have comments, make comments. Do say to us if you need more information or suppliers for the gyms. And the most important thing, guys, you gotta stay hydrated. Hydrated. Drink responsibly. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you on the See next, next episode. Time. We're gonna be wearing the same clothes because we're gonna do the gin and tonic right after this. Okay? <laughs> 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 <laughs>